Roses are red. There's dirt on the floor. NASA made a big rocket. I made a piston door. What's going on guys? Today I've got another redstone build to show you. Uh, as you can see, I made a piston door that looks like the moon. Because as you may know, NASA will soon be launching Artemis 1, which is the first mission of the Artemis program that is going to return humans to the moon. So how does this thing work? Uh, well, most little blocks, specifically these five rows in the middle here, are moved by flying machines. When the door opens, this double extender pushes these observers into those pistons, which causes the flying machine to go backward. And uh, it needs to be a double extender so that it retracts far enough away so it doesn't get stuck on the flying machine. And when the door closes, this set of pistons fires, which causes the flying machine to go forward until it runs into the subsidia. So I was going to use flying machines for the whole thing, but it didn't really look that cool, so I had to come up with something different for the top and bottom. So as you can see, this kind of um, inner part here is moved by double extender, and then the edges were just moved by singular pistons. The tricky part is that on the opening, these edges have to move before the inner part or they'll get in the way. But on the closing, they have to move after the inner part. So what I did was I made a T flip-flop that activates a shorter redstone line for the opening and a longer one for the closing. And each line has a monostable circuit at the end so the pistons aren't just on all the time. That should just about do it for today. Uh, if you want to see a tutorial for this door, be sure to let me know in the comments. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoy. Be sure to leave a like if you're excited for the Artemis program. Uh, and also subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff like this. Uh, but I will see you next time. Goodbye.